Thomas ran round to the front and back down on the coaches ready to start. Don't Thanks for the memories as Thomas and friends celebrate their 70th birthday thanks to a Hampshire vicar. Sally. Thanks, Alexis. I think if I um, did that... Yeah. ...and I did that... Oh! <laughs> oh, look we, can, look, we can reverse as well. Look, Tone. Whoa, look, 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 look. Hey, you're good at this. Yeah, I've been practising. Oh, no, no, oh. no. Yeah, here he goes. Yeah, I think you any five-year-old can do that okay. better than I can do it. Thomas the Tank Engine, of course. Now, 70 years ago... Thank Very you. Good. A story was published <laughs> that went on to become a much-loved part of children's lives right across the world. And I've got to tell you, there's no sign of it reaching the end of the line. No, the three railway engines began a series of children's stories written by a vicar, the Reverend W. Audrey. And the star of the series, undoubtedly, of course, <laughs> was our friend here, Thomas the Tank Engine. Reverend Audrey came from Anfield in Hampshire. Thank you very much. Right, and the you. phenomenon that is Thomas, its books, its TV show and, of course, its toys, owes its success in large parts to the south of England. Chris Robinson has the story. Oh, I was waiting for a beep. Yeah. They've been chew-chewing along for three score years and ten, but there's no sign of Thomas and his friends running out of steam. Their adventures on the railways were the brainchild of the Reverend Wilbert Audrey. When his son was ill with measles, he entertained him with stories about steam engines, and in 1945, the first in the railway series was published. Thomas had a delivery waiting at Brandon Docks. Some little wooden houses for Farmer Trotter... Seven decades later, the adventures are inspiring a new generation, just a few miles from where it all began. I like James because he helps Thomas. I think my brother used to like it, but he's, a, he's 20 now, so I think he's a bit old for it now. It's good for children because it's helping them learn and showing them how to like behave and be good. It helps with their reading comprehension and again because it is social stories they can relay and learn a new range of vocabulary. Thomas the Tank Engine was grumbling to the... Voiced by Ringo Starr, the TV series premiered in 1984, featuring model trains with human-like expressions. It proved a hit with adults and children alike. I think it's because the engines experience all the same kind of emotions, happiness, sadness, disappointment, um, making up with friends and so on, that little children experience in their own lives when they're growing up. While the railways may have gone diesel and electric, the end of the line looks to be a long way off for Thomas and his friends. Chris Robinson. BBC South today. Oh, look. Oh, you <laughs> see, right, look I'll at tell that. You what Thomas really likes you. So good. <laughs> <laughs> it's great, isn't it? I, do, I could play with this all day, actually. Yeah, you've got if something I to have, do. If I have been playing with it all day. Now, yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at the child in me. There we go. It's all over. That's it from us. We can have a little play here. We've got to end the programme. Yeah. Can you just do Thanks that? Thanks for first? watching. <laughs> good night. Is he going to do it? Oh, oh yes. yes, he did. Right. Timing's everything.